Hi everybody, today I will be watching Shutter Island. So I was gonna record something else and then I saw the description of this one and I was like, yeah, okay, I throw everything on the side. I want to see this movie because just like with some, I'm like, oh, this would be something that even if I wasn't into movies, if I wasn't doing YouTube, but if I read the description, I'd be like, yes. So I do see that it's this crime thriller. It's directed by the person who also directed Goodfellas and Wolf of Wall Street. Apparently it's about a murderer, investigation, I love it. And yeah, I see Leonardo DiCaprio, Mark Ruffalo. I'm just here for it. I'm in the mood for this movie and I think I'm gonna have a great time. It also scores really high. So I have a hard time <laughs> hiding my excitement with this one because I think I'm gonna, yeah. I don't know, I'm just really looking forward to this movie. Sometimes I record for the channel, sometimes I just record for myself and I feel like today might be one of those days. But I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Commenting helps out the channel a lot. So thank you for the people who've been taking the time to just leave a short comment. It really helps me out. And if you want to see the full reaction, as always, you can find that over on Patreon for you to enjoy together with me. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. Pull yourself together, Teddy. It's a lot of water. It seems like he's not just nauseous, but also scared. So you're my new partner. That's right. Not the best way to meet with my head halfway down the toilet. <laughs> I came from the office in Seattle. It feels like he knows everything about him, but not all the way around. What about you? You got a girl? Hey? I was. Ooh. She died. Hey. Don't worry about it. How? There was a fire at the apartment building while I was at work. It was a smoke bit on her, not the fire. So that's important. Sorry, boss. Isn't it choking not really harsh way to die? He's also still wearing that tie, though. Oh, the music is very promising. Why is there so much tension between them? Boys seem a little on edge, Mr. McPherson. Right now, Marshall, we all are. He's also famous, right? With a little bit of sun and some different music, this would be very nice, please. Or is it just a prison island? You are hereby required to surrender your firearms. We are duly appointed federal marshals. We are required to carry our firearms with us at all times. But when inside a penitentiary, the officers of that institution have final authority. That's a bit tense, right? They can carry one, but they can't. Weirdly enough, that would freak me out. And I'm not into carrying guns at all, but I'm like... It, uh, mm. What the? I know that the exterior, the exterior is not the most important part, but I don't know if I want to be friends. <laughs> mm. Used to be the kind of patients we deal with here were shackled and left in their own filth. As if whipping them bloody would drive the psychosis out, we drove screws into their brain. Oh, whoa. They've hurt people, murdered them in some cases. In almost all cases, yes. In almost all cases? They screw their sense of calm. So this female prisoner, patient, excuse me, patient, <laughs> escaped sometime in the last 24 hours. Huh? Last night, she killed all three of her children. <gasps> she drowned them in the lake behind her house. She took them out one by one, held their heads under till they died. Then she brought them back inside and arranged them around the kitchen table. She oh my God. Wait, what is he seeing? That's also some war memories. She also believes this place is her home in the Berkshires. It was never once in two years. Acknowledged that she's in an institution she believes we're all delivery men, milkmen, postal workers. Oh, Scarlet Witch. And what's more disturbing is we don't know how she got out of her room. It was locked from the outside and the only window's barred. Maybe she got help? Or is that completely insane? I don't think she went through the walls. <laughs> Seriously, Doctor, how is it possible that the truth never gets through to her? I think the denial is very strong if you're that far gone. She left here barefoot. I actually couldn't get 10 yards in that terrain. Oh. 
That was quick. Uh, this is definitely Rachel's handwriting. I have no idea what the law for is though. So I don't trust that guy. Like it's it's too it's too nice, too good to be true, the ideas are too sweet. And then like in the end it turns out that he abuses them or something, you know, like it's always that oh. Last night there were seven men sitting at the base of those stairs playing stud poker. Yet somehow Rachel managed to slip past them. Well they also were liable witnesses. I don't know. We're gonna need to speak with the staff. Do you understand? I'll assemble them in the common room after dinner. If you have any further questions, feel free to join the deputy warden in the search. What about those caves down there? Have you checked them? No way she could get there. A thousand plants with thorns as big as my dick. Or maybe you have a small dick. Whoppa! What's that tower? It's an old lighthouse. The guards already searched inside it. What's in there? More patients? Sewage treatment facility. I'm calling this off for the night. They're all very motivated. To solve this? Sir, I didn't see nothing. You, and you were at your post all night. Tell me the truth. I maybe went to the bathroom. What? You breached protocol. They cannot pee. <laughs> yes, Dr. Sheehan led the discussion. He's Rachel's primary, the psychiatrist who directly oversees her care. He left on the ferry this morning. You're in a state of lockdown. A dangerous patient has escaped and you let her primary doctor leave? And vacation? Of course, he's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so surprised that they're all so opposed to this. Like, they're so rude. If you care to drop by. Good. We can talk then, right? We have been talking, Marshal. Oh, well, creepy vibes. Nice music. Who is that, Brahms? No. Where was he? Because that's all concentration camps. Quite right, Marshal. Why is there a... What did he do? What did he do? There we have it. Yeah, it's hard to feel sorry for them. A bit hard, I mean. Impossible. I'm just gonna push that away, isn't he? The music is amazing with this scene. Do you believe in God, Marshal? Awful. That's glaubig. You ever uh, seen a death camp doctor? Concentrationslager. But ich, ich war dabei. Bei der Befreiung von Dachau. Your English, your English. Dachau. His English really is very good. He hit the consonants a tad hard, though. His German isn't too shabby either. Is legal immigration a crime? Oh, I don't know, doctor. You tell us. No personnel files will be released to you, period. We're gonna need those files. Out of the question. Bullshit out of the question! Okay, okay, it's time to stay calm. Continue your investigation and we'll do all we can to help. They're not really doing much things to help. We're taking the ferry back in the morning. So that guy is German. And him saying like, I was there at the concentration camps, were you there? And also this Rachel's lady, her husband died in Normandy. I don't know if that means anything, but... We haven't heard the truth once yet, Chuck. Listen, Rachel Solando didn't slip out of a locked cell barefoot without any help. I think she had a lot of help. Or she was carried out in a sense so that nobody could see it because she was in a box or something. What if she was dead? I found a whole stack of these, Teddy. Killed a lot of people in the war. Is that why you drink? Are you real? She lays on my lap for a long time already, but she never falls asleep on me. She's still here. Who? Rachel. She never left. What? You can't leave. Oh, and then the, is that the black from like the burns? Oh my. You have to wake up. What an amazing visualization. Awful. You're here. I'm not. But she is. So is he. Ladies. Ladies? Oh, man. <laughs> I want to imagine what that was to be like that you dream about a partner who passed away, but if you dream about him, you kind of never want to leave that dream, right? Because it's the only place where you see them where it looks real. We need to interview the patients who were in Rachel's group therapy session. I thought your investigation was finished. It's not like we could take the ferry. Hmm. 
The old school believes in surgical intervention, psychosurgery, procedures like the trans the lobotomy. orbital lobotomy. Yeah. <laughs> like we've seen in uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I have this radical idea that if you treat a patient with respect, listen to him, try and understand, you just might reach him. Oh my god, that freaked me out. <sighs> The greatest obstacle to her recovery was her refusal to face what she had done. Was. Is, is there a reason you keep referring to your <gasps> the past tense, Doctor? Oh, that's so smart. Which you only do if you know that somebody has passed away. Marshall. Why do you think? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's also not unreasonable to assume. We're here to talk about Rachel Solando. Do you know that she drowned her own kids? She drowned her kids. <laughs> you kill your own kid, gas the bitch. Could you st stop that? That nurse. Please stop that. That nurse, maybe, maybe she had kids, huh? Just trying to make ends meet. Stay calm. Do you know what she was afraid of? You. Could you stop that? Please stop! Do you know a patient named Andrew Latis? Do you? No! No! Almost be a bit like, what was this about? Who's Latis? Oh, I'll never get out of here. You seem quite, quite normal. Well, I have my dark days. I. Ted Bundy also looked normal. <laughs> the difference is uh, most people don't mm. kill their husbands with an axe. Okay. She thought she was still living in the Berkshires, and we were all her neighbors. The, the, the milkman, postman. Delivery men. And Dr. Sheehan was there that night. What's he like? Yeah, the fact that he went on a holiday is also super weird, right? Could I, could I have a glass of water, please? No problem. Everybody noticed that. Did you ever meet a patient named Andrew Latis? No. Never heard of him. What's going on? She was coached. She yeah, she was saying exactly the same thing. Yes, asked every one of those patients back there about him. Who is he? When this case came over the wires. I requested it specifically, you understand? Oh. Andrew Latis? He's a maintenance man in the apartment building where my wife and I live. <gasps> Did he put on the fire? He's also a fire bug. Oh! Andrew later slit the match that caused the fire that killed my wife. Latest got away with it and then he disappeared. About a year ago, I opened up the paper and there he is. First he went to prison, then he got transferred here. Oh, he could be dead. So could Rachel Solando for that matter. A lot of places to hide a body here. Yeah. Run. Oh, it's turning scary. Getting too close to the answer might put them in danger. What? Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, if tree starts flying, I think nature is a lot more powerful than we are. If it was my wife, I'd kill him twice. <laughs> the SS God surrendered. You know what scares me about this? That we're close to a generation that even the People living through that are not alive anymore. Like, will my kid see the severity of what happened there? Will his kid see the severity? Or is that something that's, you know, just gonna be a blip in history? Like, it's impossible to understand this. It's impossible to, like, let that hit you. There's things that you hear and like, oh, that's sad. But that's just like, you can't even understand in your brain what happened there. And it's just scary how structured it all was and how organized. It wasn't warfare, it was, it was murder. That I've, I've had enough of killing, that's not why I'm here. Oh, this is a lot heavier than I anticipated. A lot of people know about this place, but no one wants to talk, you know? It's like, it, it's like they're scared of something. You know, this place is funded by a special grant from the House on American Activities Committee. <sighs> and how exactly fighting the commies from an island in Boston Harbor? By conducting experiments on the mind. Oh, God. Like I said, no one would talk, right? Till I found somebody who used to be a patient here. The guy's name is George Noyce. He almost beats his professor to death. It ends up here in Ashcliff, Ward C. They release him after one year. Two weeks on the mainland, he walks into a bar, stabs three men to death. 
experimenting on people here. Oh, that does have that German ick, right? We fought a goddamn war to stop them, and now, now I find out it may be happening here. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. We started asking around about Ashcliff, waiting for a chance to get out here, and then suddenly they need a U.S. Marshal. Oh no! Oh no! What if they wanted you here? Bullshit. Bullshit. We came here for Rachel Solanda. Where was one shred of evidence she even existed? Fake an escape to get you here, and now they have you. Now they have us both. Here, now. Holy shit! They found us, huh? It's an island, boss. They're always gonna find us. Oh, this is scary. Jesus. Woo. Oh, no. Like, this got a whole new element to it now. Not safe peaceful one you said you had no idea what that second line could refer to correct it was 67 yes i'm afraid i still don't nothing comes to mind is it a patient number because i believe i just heard you say there are 24 patients in ward c and 42 patients oh. in wards a and b which means there's a total of what 66 patients at this facility that is correct yes what well, seems to me rachel solando is suggesting that you have a 67th Patient, doctor. What are they doing here? We're doing our goddamn job. Didn't McPherson tell you the good news? Rachel's been found. Oh, come on. Are we not hurrying to tell him? What? <laughs> okay. So where did she go without shoes? I made breakfast for Jim and the children. Oh. <laughs> Packed Jim's lunch and he left. This is making it really hard. I thought of you. Sorry. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? <laughs> Ooh, that was a lot. And like so much you can speculate. I'm just like, my brain is going, working overtime. So goddamn bright, isn't it? Are you having a migraine? I'll be all right. Oh my God. He's going to need to lie down. I love this movie because I have no clue what's going on and I feel like every guess I could make is wrong. <laughs> like it's, you, you see all the puzzle pieces, Normandy, other German, the experimenting, and it's gonna fall into place, right? The twist is not gonna be that he's patient 67, right? And that this is all not real. Oh wow, you cracked the case. Great job. And the, that he actually is a patient in this place. She's good. Actually, he killed his wife. I don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh no, oh no. Don't let her wake up. Oh my god. Yeah. She's alive. You should have saved me. God, that's dark. That is. The clock's ticking, my friend. We're running out of time. Oh my god, but like the. the... Give me a hand here. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. See, I was like, yeah, there could be some twists here and there. Not like this. Not these kind of twists. Not like. Bat shit crazy twists. I'm dead. I wonder if he's wearing his ring right now. I wonder if this is one of those you know that sometimes in movies certain things are different in reality versus fakeness. Is he Jim? What is going on? Because that was what we could see when he was with his wife looking outside you had the outside thingy wow <laughs> great from one crazy to the next why are you all wet baby latus isn't dead he isn't gone you need to find him teddy you need to find him and you kill him dead Warning. Backup generators fail. The whole place has gone crazy. Yeah. Except that the whole place was already crazy. <laughs> so that's not good. When crazy goes really crazy. Go 
Okay, so I'm just gonna assume that everything that we've heard so far is real. That Rachel actually killed her children. That Leah has actually burned the house down. But I don't know, like, it seems... It seems something going on with him. And, uh... My god! Oh! <gasps> <gasps> A life. You're in. I think we can be all very grateful the place where we go to bed tonight. <laughs> His name is only one letter difference, right? Ladies, but Daniels. I'm going crazy as well watching this movie, I swear. Let me see your face. They say I'll never leave you. Let me see your goddamn face now! What? So you can lie to me more? <gasps> Who did this to you, George? You did. What? This is a game. All of this is for you. You're not investigating anything. Station 67. I've been with my partner. You never worked with him before, have you? I know people. I, I trust this man. Then they've already won. Not. You can't dig out the truth and kill Latus at the same time. You, you gotta make a choice. You understand that, don't you? <laughs> Let her go. Let her go. Tell him why. Oh boy. She's gonna kill you. You wanna uncover the truth? You, you gotta let it go. I can't! But then you'll never leave this island. He's not in this ward. The music. After we got that guy to the infirmary, I took a little detour. The patient records, his intake form. It was the only thing in his files. There's no session notes, no incident reports, no photographs, just this. It was weird. I'll look at it later. What's the matter, boss? I'll look it over later, that's all. Oh, this is so weird. I don't know what to say. I'm just like, <gasps> you brought me into this, boss, and now we're trapped here on this rock. What the hell happened back there in those cells, Ted? What do you think the weather's like in Portland, Chuck? I'm from Seattle. I feel like every time I put my chair closer so I can hardly move, she's like, I'm here, and then I call, him. go grab the little one, Chuck. Oh man, why are we so close to clips? Oh my god. No way! No way that that was Chuck! What the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! Mm, climbing back up? Of course! Rachel Solando, the real one. They put a fake one in there? I never had children. Before I was a patient at Ashcliff, I worked here. I was a doctor, Marshall. Oh, boy. No, no, I never... And if I say I'm not crazy, well, that hardly helps, does it? Yeah. Pro proving that you're not crazy in a regular story is not very easy. <laughs> Survival instincts are defense mechanisms. That's the word that the guy used, the German one. He zapped the patient with electroshock and go through the eye with an ice pick. Pull out some nerve fibers. Oh. It's crazy that it was such a huge thing, right? Do you know how pain enters the body, Marshall? The nurse It has system. nothing to do with the flesh. The brain controls pain. Oh. The brain. Recreate a man so he doesn't feel pain. A man who can't be interrogated because he has no memories to confess. That would take years. Years, years of research. Hundreds of patients to experiment. The Nazis used the Jews, Soviets used prisoners in their own gulags. And we, we tested patients on Shutter Island. I am a federal marshal. They can't stop me. They can declare him insane. Any past traumas in your life? Because they're gonna point to some event in your past and say it's the reason you lost your sanity. This is the first sane thing that we hear, right? You haven't taken any pills, have you? Oh, that was, see, I thought that they were medicating him. You tell me at least that you've been smoking your own cigarettes. I need to give them new ones. But then it's also like, when is she starts to, like, when is she a conspiracy theorist, right? So that means that the main story was actually true. The things that we saw him going through are just all medication. Thank God, though, because the whole he is Liada's blah, blah, blah thing drove me crazy. They think I'm dead, that I drown. I'm afraid if they come looking for you, they might find me. But what is her escape plan? Because she can't stay here forever. I had a friend. I was with him yesterday, but we got separated. Marshall, you have no friends. <laughs> Like, or he's dead, or maybe, like, why wouldn't 
Why would he be in on it? Because the patient actually ran away, right? They're just setting up this whole thing. Where have you been? I'm wandering. Cigarette? No thanks, I quit. <sighs> just now. Have you seen him, doctor? Whom? My partner, Chuck. You don't have a partner, Marshall. You came here alone. Oh! What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. So tell me again about your partner. No. Because then they're going to tell you that you're crazy. Oh, man. <gasps> What's this? It, it's, it's just a sedative. Precaution. Oh, precaution. Why? Did you know that the word trauma comes from the Greek for womb? And what is the German word for dream? I And wouldn't you agree? When you see a monster, you must stop it. So who is the monster? Honestly, it would be the fact that he gets a syringe ready when he's talking to you is so like, what? Precaution? No, what the hell? Why would you do that? The whole him being enclosed in an island is crazy, right? I read a murder mystery a while back in a book and it was also like a, a wedding <laughs> yeah. on an island, but then it turned very murderous and crazy and damn, like the element of not being able to get away is so scary. I love this thing because you gave it to me. The truth is, I always hated it. There's one fucking ugly tie. <laughs> Let's go blow them up together. Best way to get the confirmation that it's not real. Don't move! Stay where you are! <sighs> Well, thanks. <laughs> Imagine if they emptied it out and now he actually looks crazy. <laughs> Why are you all wet, baby? The rifle's empty, by the way. <laughs> yes, he's here. Have Dr. Sheehan take Dr. A Sheehan? Now he's... What? How are the hallucinations? This place is going to be the end of you. Dr. Solando, she told me about the neuroleptics. Did she know? I found a doctor in a cave. You'll never get to her. I don't doubt it. Your delusions are more severe than I thought. Oh man, I'm I'm ter I'm nuts. I feel like watching this movie makes you crazy. And what the fuck is this? Huh? What the fuck is this? Withdrawal. Withdrawal? So we go back to the first thing where we think he's a patient. He actually burned his own house down. They sent him here. The same thing we've been giving you for the past 24 months. The past two years, you've, you, you've had somebody slipping me drugs in Boston, is, is that it? You've been here for two years, a patient of this institution. Oh my god, at least one thing I got right. Damn, U.S. Marshal, for God's sake. You were a U.S. Marshal. He shows no remorse for his crime because he denies the crime ever, ever took place. Highly developed and fantastical narratives which preclude facing the truth of his... Your wife's maiden name was Chanal. Notice anything these four names have in common. It's your rule of four. Oh, Teddy is from Edward! The same as Rachel Solando and Dolores Chanal, the names are anagrams for each other. I was doing that! I said that! But I was, like, confused because of the Teddy. It didn't make sense, but Teddy's from Edward. God damn it. Oh my god, I feel a bit smarter at least, but I got tricked with the English names. <laughs> Facts. You've created right. a story in which you're not a murderer <laughs> and you've uncovered a conspiracy so that anything we tell you about who you are, what you've done... My name is Edward Daniels. I've been hearing this fantasy for two years. Do you reckon he also heard the kids? It's two weeks ago. He attacked George Noyce. No, no, I am fucking on to you, doctor. Give me one reason why I would even touch him. Because he called you ladies and you do anything not to be him. And it's been decided that unless... We can bring you back to sanity now. Permanent measures will be taken to ensure you can't hurt anyone ever again. Uh, oh no. He's a doctor. He's oh, Sheehan. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. Who are you? I've been your primary psychiatrist for the last two years. I'm Lester Sheehan. Damn, this is so confronting. I thought that if we let you play this out, we could get you to see how untrue, how impossible it is. You've had the run of the place for two days. Where are the Nazi experiments? Yeah, the fact that Sheehan, like, the fact that Sheehan is not 
the body means that it's real, right? I cannot believe that I actually said that, believed it for a while, and then with the Rachel Salando, I completely let it go. Did I I I knew about the name. Don't move, don't move. Andrew, Andrew, no. I mean, you're not gonna fuck with my mind on this one, Doctor. Then blast away, because that's the only way you're ever getting off this island. Oh, that's some big guess if you're him. <gasps> Andrew, please don't. What is going on? <laughs> it's fake. Wow, they really set this up. What the? What the hell? You moved to that lake house after she purposely set your city apartment on fire. You <laughs> were a oh, oh boy. Simon. Henry. He killed his own your children. Your wife drowned them. Her name was Rachel. Are you going to deny that she ever lived? You and you. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Wait, so what happened? The wife did the apartment and the wife did the kids? So what did he do? Kill her? Why are you all wet? Loris! I don't want to see a man realizing that his kids are gone. Why are you all wet? Ha ha ha! Bum bum bum! Where are the kids? They're in school. She must also smell like leak, right? She's not just wet. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! Please, God! No! no! Put them at the table, Andrew. They'll be our living dolls. Huh? Oh, I think I would be dangerous at this point. I love you so much. I love you like. <laughs> <laughs> There we have it. <sighs> Andrew, can you hear me? Rachel. But she was a nurse. Why are you here? I used to prove that it worked. Because I killed my wife. And why did you do that? Because she murdered our children. Who's Teddy Daniels? He doesn't exist. Now that is Rachel Solano. I made them up. Why? It must be really hard to snap out of this if you've been like acting like this for two years. Why did you make them up? Because I can't take knowing that Dolores killed our children. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. <laughs> and understandably so. Honestly, like if my husband would kill three children, you could carry me away. We broke through once before, nine months ago, and then you regressed. Oh no, so it's not even enough. Like a tape playing over and over on an endless loop. I need to know you've accepted reality. Like, how can he prove that more than playing the whole story? He tried to help me when no one else would. Damn, so I thought that he was going to be the bad guy and he turns out to be the best guy. <laughs> my name's Andrew Latus and I murdered my wife in the spring of 52. I feel like I'm destroyed from within. How are we doing this morning? Good. Gotta get off this rock, Chuck. Only. Oh. Don't worry, Potter. They're not gonna catch us. <laughs> I can imagine that if you work with these people for years, that it destroys you as well. Like you know that there's something going on, but like you start caring, right? Even if you know they're mentally ill, you start caring. Which would be worse? To live as a monster or to die as a good man. What's he gonna do? Teddy? Hey, why would you call him Teddy though? Why would you not call him like by his real name now? I feel like I need a good cry. Like I, I feel like I have so many build up emotions right now. And the crazy part is that he was like, yeah, they lobotomize people in the in the lighthouse but now they are actually gonna <laughs> so while it wasn't true now it suddenly is true this movie what this is like a whole nother level movie <laughs> wow i actually have a hard time doing this outro because i kind of just want to jump into videos that explain piece by piece what happened because you know they're there right this is one of those movies where it's twists and in the end you see it and 
then you can go back and like just enjoy all the candy they put in there for you to discover all the things that you've missed and it's crazy because I was completely I feel like I got the part where he was patient 67 it's also not a trope that never happens right I feel like the if you expect a super twist that would be it also the names the names i was surprised by honestly but i think it's because i write them out in front of me but yeah if they would have said that he was edward daniels and i would definitely have, would have gotten it but the teddy part threw me off because i was really like looking at the the specific letters but what i did not catch at all is the whole sequence of like his wife killing the children i was thinking that maybe then he had killed the children i don't know like it was clear it was something with his family also you see in the beginning where they show the house that's burning down if you look outside it's that scene by the lake right so it's their house and another thing that really struck with me was um when oh, what's the guy's name noise when he goes like you need to choose between getting out of here or the truth or something and then i was like yeah if he discovers that he's the bad guy then you have the truth but then you also know that you're never gonna get out so in that sense i was like okay okay but it's so disappointing right because you feel bad for him too because he's the bad guy that needs to be lobotomized but also his wife killed his three children you guys know that i'm super against violence and i'm super against revenge and i'm like the most calm person when it comes to these things i can imagine that if you find your partner that had just killed three of your children i cannot say what i would do honestly so in that sense it's more that he cannot live with this reality and then i was thinking about that sentence of like like what does that mean the whole would you rather what did he say would you rather live as monster or die as a good guy and then he went with them and i'm like did he did he not fall back into the fantasy but did he decide that it's better to die as a good man no wait yeah so that he would go and get the lobotomy and think he's the good guy he thinks he's the marshal you know or to accept what had happened and live in this world as a monster where he's a monster because of all of this that happened actually and i'm like damn oh this movie was not what i anticipated i thought we were gonna go on a manhunt and then i like in the very beginning i was like okay maybe somebody took her out maybe somebody murdered her and like we're gonna look for her killer and i really thought the doctor was really bad and he turned out to be the best guy ever and then i was a bit dipping into the he might be the patient and i have to say that i completely left the idea once we saw the the doctor the rachel doctor because i was like damn we we see someone who talks sense so she must be real and everything that she said fit into the, the narrative right at the end where the names of course but then when dr sheehan came in then i was like yeah well then it's you know damn everything else they could have invented everything else with the names they could have invented but your friend not being a marshal but being a doctor like why would he be in on it you know this is honestly one of my favorite movies again i feel like i i don't know i feel like is it be <laughs> I kind of feel bad that it's again with one with DiCaprio, like with departed but I'm like this story is crazy and i love when there's a twist and a twist and a twist and even with suspicion that he's the patient i feel like even then this movie is really good because probably a lot of people had that suspicion but you cannot explain it there's not enough for it to be real uh, until the end if they should have told us it was edward god damn it i'm kind of like then again that would have ruined the movie right if he was called edward daniels we'll all be been like yeah it's fake very early and then it might have ruined it but yeah the teddy edward smart 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 okay i i need to go i need to go and dissect this movie i loved it a lot i hope you enjoyed this reaction let me know what you suspected when you watched this movie what did you see coming what didn't you see coming are there clues that you noticed that i had noticed let me know in the comments if you like it make sure to like and subscribe and as always full reactions you can find over on patreon i'll see you in the next one bye bye